Hello, and thank you for taking the time to join me in recognizing Mark Torres as the recipient of the 2021 F.W. Clark Medal. Some of the most enduring scientific advances come from piecing together concepts and ideas in ways that ask us to rethink how we understand the natural world. Mark has done just that, particularly through his work to illuminate the role of sulfide oxidation in the geologic carbon cycle. More widely, Mark has, already in his short career, made major contributions to understanding the ways that geomorphic, hydrologic, and geochemical processes work together to influence biogeochemical fluxes. Mark was born and raised alongside two siblings in the San Gabriel Valley of Southern California. His interest in scientific research was sparked by an internship at the ALF Museum of Paleontology when he was in high school a testament to the power of such experiences in motivating and inspiring bright youth who have the potential to become future scientific leaders. Mark completed his undergraduate studies at Pitzer College, where he received a BA in geology with honors. And through the Claremont College Consortium, he had the opportunity to work with Bob Gaines and Jay Starlackey at Pomona College, which cultivated his budding interests in geochemistry. When he applied to the PhD program at the University of Southern California to work under my advisement, he already had a mature and sophisticated vision of what he wanted to accomplish as a graduate student. After completing his PhD at USC, Mark held a Texaco postdoctoral fellowship at Caltech where he worked with Mike Lamb, Woody Fisher, and Jess Atkins before departing his native Southern California for his current faculty position at Rice University. When Mark began his doctoral research at USC in the early 2010s, a couple of papers had recently begun to explore the idea that sulfide oxidation might be important for the long-term carbon cycle. The long-standing paradigm for understanding weathering in the carbon cycle focused on the production of alkalinity and the associated drawdown of CO2 by silicate and carbonate mineral weathering. Sulfide mineral oxidation, in contrast, acts as a source of CO2 to the atmosphere. For example, releasing carbon when carbonate minerals react with sulfuric acid. Yet the importance of such reactions were only starting to be recognized when Mark began his PhD studies. Working on the geochemistry of river samples from the Andes Mountains and Amazon floodplain, Mark realized that this process could be critical to how we understand long debated connections between tectonics, erosion, and the carbon cycle. In a series of papers that he wrote during his PhD and as a postdoc, Mark developed this idea into a coherent framework. He showed that oxidative weathering scales with erosion rates in the Andes Amazon system, while alkalinity production via silicate mineral weathering does not, thus demonstrating the potential role of uplift and erosion to drive the release of CO2 to the atmosphere rather than its consumption. Mark explored the potential relevance of oxidative weathering for the evolution of the carbon cycle over the Cenozoic, and he proposed ways in which the coupling of glaciation and sulfide oxidation might contribute to important global feedbacks. Altogether, Mark's contributions to this area have demanded that we revise the basic way we think about weathering in the carbon cycle, and his work has inspired numerous following studies to understand oxidative weathering and its connections to Earth system evolution more deeply. Mark's research has continued to carry the hallmark of his creativity. He has a knack for pulling together disparate pieces to change the way we think about problems, and I have no doubt that will continue to be the case as his career unfolds. In his recent work, he's developed new frameworks for understanding the geomorphic controls on organic carbon transport and river systems, and as well as the hydrologic controls on river solute fluxes. Mark has an extraordinarily broad knowledge of scientific literature, particularly that related to Earth surface processes and geochemistry, and his wide-ranging expertise makes scientific conversations with him invariably stimulating. The joy of these conversations is only magnified by his delightful and generous personality. He is passionate not just about research for its own sake, but also about its potential to inspire others, particularly those from backgrounds not traditionally well represented in the geosciences. That is a passion Mark shares with Frank Wigglesworth Clark, who was deeply devoted to the teaching of science. F.W. Clark was also reputedly understated and deeply thoughtful, and yet an engaging and much appreciated colleague and collaborator. 
characteristics that so aptly also describe Mark. It is a tremendous honor to provide this citation for Mark as the well-deserving 2021 Clark Medal recipient.